The Vatican has announced its plans to establish a unified international service for the Catholic charismatic renewal. It's called CARIS and will be launched on December 8th. According to the Dicastery for Laity, Family and Life, Charismatic Renewal has many different communities, initiatives for evangelization and prayer groups, including many realities recognized in different dioceses or internationally. This organization will be in their service and help accommodate all their needs. It is a new single service so that a synergy can be produced between all these different expressions. It is meant to be a place of service, a place of meeting, a place of fraternity, a place of communion. There is no single structure which runs Catholic Charismatic Renewal. The whole idea is that it's an experience from the base which is shared by many different people. So the goal of the new organism is to be in the service of this dynamism. This is something Pope Francis has frequently requested. According to the Dicastery, the Pope sees charismatic renewal as an important force for reviving the church today. He's talked about the impact it can have in terms of ecumenism and ecumenism of charity uh, between people who have experienced the living Christ through the renewal of their baptismal graces by the Holy Spirit. It's importance for working with the, the, the marginalized and the poor. Pope Francis's attention toward the Charismatics goes back even before being elected Pope. As Monsignor Delgado notes, the Pope worked with them in the past as Cardinal and Archbishop of Buenos Aires. The last assignment to receive from the Episcopal Conference of Argentina was that of the ecclesiastical assistant to Catholic Charismatic Renewal in Argentina. Therefore, he's a person who knows the Charismatic Renewal very well. The Charismatic Renewal emerged after a student spiritual retreat in the United States in 1967. It seeks to relive the experience of the Apostles when the Holy Spirit descended upon them at Pentecost. Special.